Okay, so now to a story about love and taxes that could have ripple effects really across this country. It's similar to the lawsuit Windsor versus the U.S. That is the landmark case which led the Supreme Court to return, uh, to, to recently overturn, forgive me, the, the Defense of Marriage Act. So remember what was at the heart of that suit? It was the inheritance tax issue. It was Edith Windsor. She initially had to pay $638,000 after her wife died because the federal government didn't recognize their same-sex marriage. So we now know she's getting the money back, but now another same-sex couple is avoiding some inheritance tax after one partner adopted the other. You heard me right, adopted the other. The men want to remain anonymous, but here is CNN's Sarah Gannum. Don't be fooled by the Supreme Court's decision to throw out the Defense of Marriage Act. Hundreds of thousands of gay couples still can't get the benefits of being married in their home state. John and Gregory, a couple in Pennsylvania, are among them. But they found a creative loophole. John, age 65, adopted Gregory, age 73. We have a great house, nice property, um, and we've built that together and enjoy it together. State law in Pennsylvania says that when one of them dies, the other would have to pay a steep 15% inheritance tax to be able to keep all of those things. They've been together 45 years and didn't think that was fair. To have to then pay inheritance tax on something that is already really yours, somehow it just doesn't pass the smell test. Attorney Marianne Rudabush hit the books looking for legal options and came up with adoption. The judge said, absolutely, there's no legal reason why I should not approve this. And um, signed, it, signed the adoption papers and looked at me and said, congratulations, it's a boy. I've heard of situations uh, on more than one occasion, sadly, when one, cup, one part of the couple has died, uh, you know, they've been locked out of a home. Ted Martin is with you know, Equality Pennsylvania, and he understands exactly why Gregory and John did it. A place like Pennsylvania, still the only state in the Northeast where you can still fire someone for being gay or evict them from their apartment or deny them a public accommodation. So in a lot of ways, you know, people have to be smart. For this couple, it was a last resort. They didn't want to leave the state where they've lived their whole lives, but they don't believe they will live to see same-sex marriage legalized in Pennsylvania. And it's sad we can't call it a marriage in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, but it is a really amazing relationship. And now Sarah Gannon joins me to talk a little bit about this and I, and I hear you. I'm getting the tweets. Westby, we're going to talk about the legality about this in a minute because a lot of you are mentioning the I word incest. But to you first, um, are attorneys seeing this as a trend for gay couples um, who, who do live in states where same-sex marriage isn't recognized? That's a great question. You know, it's not for everyone and it won't work in every state. And the attorney who worked on this case says she's had other calls from same-sex couples who want to do the same thing in her state of Pennsylvania, but in this case it only worked because one partner no longer had living parents. So how did this whole thing start for this couple? Yeah, it's interesting. They saw this happening, like you mentioned, to other same-sex couples where one would die and the other one was left almost with nothing mm -hmm. after paying this tax. And they simply thought, you know, we don't, we don't want this to happen to us. They're, they're up there getting up there in age, and they were trying to look for a way around it. Let me continue the conversation, Sarah Gannam. Thank you so much. On to those legal questions, I promise. Legal expert here, attorney Danny Savalos is joining me because, Danny, first question, can gay couples in those states that do not recognize same-sex marriage, like Pennsylvania in this case, can, you know, can they use adoption as an option? Well, adoption of an adult is uh, nothing new in the legal system. Uh, adults have been adopting uh, adults have been adopting each other for a long time, and uh, uh, male and female adoptions as adults have gone on for a while for exactly this reason. So the fact that now uh, we're seeing uh, same-sex couples doing it is really nothing that drastically new. Uh, the question is, is that what state are you living in? Because the states have a very patchwork approach to this issue. Most state statutes are as broad as saying, or many I should say, are as broad as saying any adult may adopt another. However, hmm. some courts have taken it upon themselves 
to apply public policy reasons for denying adult adoptions when involving same-sex partners or even uh, heterosexual partners. Uh, and these grounds, New York, for example, has, has used public policy to deny these adoptions, even though there's no specific bar in the statute itself. So the state of the law, whether heterosexual or same sex, is absolutely a patchwork quilt at this time. So then what about incest? I mean, could could the parent, you know, who is adopting the other be arrested? Great question. But you have to look at the history of incest as much as we all instantly sort of abhor the concept, we have to look at the public policy that makes it illegal. At least half of the public policy for making incest illegal, of course, is the family relationship. Uh, but there's an additional reason, and that is the safety, the biological safety, the genetic safety of offspring. And if you read, that's not my idea, if you read the codes of Pennsylvania, for example, it has that language in it, at least in the notes. So the, quite, the issue is, in some states, the adoptive child does not bear the same biological relationship for purposes of incest. In Pennsylvania, however, the, uh, the adoption of a child for purposes of incest, incest makes them the biological child. And as abhorrent as it is for us to think of it, mm. uh, the, the actual adoptive child does not have a biological relationship and is, in terms of biology, a stranger to that parent. However, in many states, such as Pennsylvania, it's still illegal. Once you adopt, that becomes your biological child for the purpose of incest. Wow. Danny Savalos, thank you. I know you're watching. I would love to know what you think of this story. Send me a tweet at Brooke B. CNN.